Hey guys, this is Lucas from Better Coding Academy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with React Hook Form. Now, this is a form library for React that came out relatively recently, and its whole premise is that it is built around the use of React Hooks. So specifically, this is the React Web example here, and I'm just going to show a little bit of this video here, is that the syntax involves the use of a customized use form hook, which we will then use inside of our inputs over here. This actually works really, really well, and I want to demonstrate it here as an alternative to React Final Form, Formic, and also to internal state management. It is super light with a very small package size. The code itself is actually shorter than both Redux Form and also Formic over here, as you can see. And also the number of renders it actually takes is quite minimal as well. And uh, we're going to now look at implementing this inside of this app here. Now I've already put together a very basic form on this page here, just using some styled components. Uh, it currently doesn't do anything. Um, and obviously you can implement this by creating your own form and doing it your own way. I figured no one wanted to see the whole setup process here anyways. So I've already set this up like I've done a million times before and we're just going to go with this form that I've already created. So currently my form does absolutely nothing. Clicking on it just takes you to a question mark which is normal for a get type form and now we are going to implement react hooks form. So we're going to go here and we're going to write import use form from react hook form. So I'm going to import it at the very top of my page. I can probably zoom this in just a little bit more. And now that we have use form up here, we're going to go into our component and we're going to write this const register inside of curly braces here. So it's a destructure uh, is equal to use form like so. And then our register here, we then pass into our text fields. So we have one for the name and we have one for the email address. Now what we need to do is we need to provide a name field to these two text fields here. So I'm going to do name equals email for my email and I'm going to do name equals name for my name. And then what we can do is write ref equals register here and ref equals register here. So text field here in particular uh, is just a styled component. So I've defined that here in uh, in this shared directory here, and this is my text field. And this means that when we do ref on here, the ref actually does get passed through directly into the input tag. So if you are using a custom component, the React hook form documentation does actually teach you how to do that. But for the sake of this video, we're going to look at getting started with this as quickly as possible. So I'm going to only look at the most bare bones example. So we have name over here and we have email. Now we have these two refs on here, what we're going to do is we're going to add an on submit. So inside of form, we're going to do on submit is equal to handle submit on submit. So the way this works is we get handle submit from our use form like that. And then we can create a function called on submit. And then this one will take in a data parameter here. And then we can do something like console.log data. So now let's save this and now let's have a look at our page. We have name, email address, and sign up over here. We're going to open up the console over here. Uh, bring this down to there and let's just type in some details. So Lucas and hacker at man.com, for example. And if I click sign up, what happens is the page no longer refreshes and we get down here uh, name and email. So email is hacker at man.com and name is Lucas. Now React hook form is quite powerful in the sense that it supports errors. It supports all sorts of advanced functions, but one of its benefits is that it doesn't try to do all of this kind of stuff itself, but where it can, it actually offloads a lot of that into React and into other libraries. Um, the documentation I've seen so far has been great uh, for learning how to use this library and for getting started and for also doing a more advanced stuff here as well. So it's definitely worth looking at that uh, if you guys want more detail. But I'm going to just showcase one more feature here and that is default values. So what we can do here is inside of use form and this comes directly from the API, which I think is uh, from this one here, we've got the default value property within the uh, configuration object here. And we also have other configuration options here as well. But what we can do do is something like default values. And let's just say we want the default name to be Joe Blow and the default email address to say be joe at blow.com uh, and something like that. And then now if we save this and have a look, now you see that these are the default values being passed in. And if I click sign up, then these default values come here. But then again, obviously I can change this something like that and type sign up and we get Lucas John and then Joe at blow.com. So that's it for this video. I wanted this to be really, really quick. Um, just to show how quick and easy it is to get started with React Hook Form. Um, please, by all means, go and look at their website and uh, the documentation. This is a relatively new library, but I think that it definitely has a ton of potential um, and the direction in which it's heading is incredibly promising. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This has been Lucas with Better Coding Academy and see you guys later.